The impact of this project is enormous. Once you know how we function, what keeps us healthy, we'll be able to understand how things go wrong and prevent disease, design new treatments, but also how to build organs, for example, for organ transplantation. My name's Muz Hanifa. I'm a Wellcome Senior Clinical Fellow and Senior Group Leader at the Wellcome Sanger Institute. And I study how the human body is built. One of the projects that I'm working on is the human cell atlas. Essentially, the human body is made up of 37 trillion cells. That's a huge number of cells. And what we're trying to do is to profile and map the characteristics of each of these individual cells and how they work together to allow the body to function as a whole. What you're seeing here is skin as an organ that has been grown from stem cells. And you can see here these fine hair follicles. The way we've learned how to grow the skin has been informed by our findings from the Human Cell Atlas. And what you can now do with this type of model is to use it for skin transplant, for example. You can also use it to understand how skin heals following wounding, how we can regenerate skin, and how skin responds to environmental challenges. The science is not just then contained within Sangha. Anyone around the world can publicly access the data. And this is where I see a lot of equity in science. This type of work is very important in terms of how we're really going to make the advances that will benefit patients. With the Human Cell Atlas, we are aiming to generate a reference map of every single cell in the human body. I'm Jimmy Lee, a postdoctoral fellow at the Cellular Genetics Programme. My main research questions will be what is the dynamic within the cell community in early stage of brain development, especially fetal development, and also what could go wrong with their communication when it becomes disease. We're trying to combine single cell technology and also spatial transcriptomic technology. Imagine human organ is just like a village. So the single cell technology is like doing a survey with every people living in the village. Whereas spatial transcriptomic is more like looking at the village on top and to take very high resolution of snapshot. We can combine the spatial information with the single cell information to have broader understanding of how an organ works in a human body. Behind the glass is the data farm. It's actually a high-performing computer which analyzes tons of genomic data. It helps us to solve complex biological questions or analysis within just minutes or hours, which usually takes years on a local computer. This type of research forms the foundations to really begin to understand the human body, how it maintains health, how it responds to challenges, and also degenerative diseases. And then taking it to the clinic for improving how we diagnose patients, how we decide what treatment patients should take, and how we cure patients. 